All right. Who are you? I'm Riley. Riley. And you work for what company? Blacklight Attractions. Blacklight Attractions. Hello. Yeah, that's right. This is Riley, my son. Hello. And when I say my son, I'm talking about me, Larry Kirshner. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so... I have no idea. Yeah. I, I think they're escape rooms. They're escape rooms. So we're here at the trade show. show ah, trade show. And this is the end of day two setup. And this is a buddy of mine. He helps me out at the haunted house of the darkness. And they're called Rotten Res. And he's got three animatronics. And you can see this kind of like will jump up. It looks like his boot's not ready to go. And he has a bunch of costumes. So you have to check him out. And he's out here in front of the Christmas section. Right, Riley? Yeah. He's a nice guy, right? Yeah. Nick. Yeah, he works uh, for you. Yeah. And, uh, and so here we go. We're going to walk through the show. And we're not going to go into the, the Christmas section. Okay. We're going to do a video on just the Christmas section. We're just trying to see all the booths we can. This says Blast from the Past Mask Company. The booth looks really cool. What do you say, Riley? I don't know what they sell. But as you can see, we're kind of like in this new section of the convention center. For people that don't know, this is all brand new. You can see there's new lighting, the ceiling's black, all the beams are brand new. And they're building another section that goes that way. And that's not done yet. But this over here is supposed to be kind of the escape room section. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to hightail it right through here. And we wanna tell you that if you need, you need to come to St. Louis because there's a lot of cool stuff here this year. Um, the show starts on Thursday. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And look at this booth really nice it's like a fabrication company let's get a good view of that that looks really really nice and they've got like a little setup inside there it's very nice and then you can see escape rooms over there to get to the cooler Halloween stuff we have to go way far down but look at this escape rooms based on uh, Frankenstein and so on and so forth. And look at this one. I guess that's supposed to be like twisted metal there, Riley. It is. And <laughs> it's a modular escape room. Now I have to admit, that is really cool. Whoever came up with that, they did a fantastic job. There's a company over here selling masks, as you can see, right there. Coffin Ghoul. Uh, now, a couple things I wanted to mention. If you want to come to the Haunted House Show, you go to H-A-A-Show.com. And you can see the show is nowhere near close to being done. You can see some 12-foot skeletons over there. Um, not sure... VR. What's VR? Oh, okay, so there's a VR company. And Riley, let's kind of work our way over here to the middle. So the show is haashow.com. It's in St. Louis, Missouri, which is convenient for anyone to get here because St. Louis is in the middle of the country. There's a big facade over there. Where? That way. No, that's okay. No, we're, we're already... We're already headed this way. And then you can see over here, there's some vacuum form. That's Night Scream Studios. But we're trying, I'm doing this as a one take deal here, okay? That means there's no turning it off. We're walking past the booths and that's it. Um, this is day two and you kind of see where you're at from day one to day two. And you kind of get an idea of the different vendors that are here. I've never seen that company, Murder Beach. 
Productions. Never heard of it. And you can see over there. You coming now, Riley? And look at that. that there's a dog in here. Look at that. That's that's not Benji. What's that dog's name that was in that, that movie? Can't remember. Anyway, here's Morris Costumes booth. Right here. And you can see they sell a lot of stuff for home haunts. And when you come to the show, all this stuff will be up and running and working. And I'm assuming this booth right here is to sell franchises for Halloween Express. Because Halloween Express is technically, if I, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's owned by... Um, and look at this. I didn't expect to see this. There's a Godzilla. That's from a new movie. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but anyway, Morris Costumes, I believe, owns... Um, and this, I'm pretty sure, is the guy that works for um, Hell's Gate up in Chicago. And his stuff is really cool. As you can see, it's very artistic, very creative. And that's just creepy right there. That's just straight up creepy. Would you say that's creepy? Yeah. And it, But you can see that most of his stuff is not out. Oh, we have a mask company over here. I don't know what this is, but it says Fear Imagined. And here's some props over here. And some props over here. Scream Banshee Studios. All right. And here's another company over here. And you can see if we were guessing, what percentage of the show do you think is kind of set up already here, Riley? It's like, no, it's over 50. It's probably 70. But you know what's crazy? Uh, people get here on Monday, and they take Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to set up. And then the show starts on Thursday. And what's crazy is the show comes down. Now, when, you, when Riley's saying 50, like you look at this lane right here and there's nothing in it except for one booth over there selling skeletons. The Christmas show looks pretty much set up. And then this whole center area looks like, again, like nothing. But once you start working your way over to where the haunt people are, they know how to get stuff done quick. <laughs> and uh, I know because we're in that business. And um, it gets done really fast. There's a bunch of weapons. So it goes from looking like it is 50 to looks looking more like it's 70 or 80. And there's a, what company is this? Does it say? You see somewhere? No? And then here is Distortions booth. The difference from today to yesterday is now you can actually see the animations because some of them were were covered up that's pretty cool and you see they got a big TV set there and we saw this yesterday all these tools dropped dead and you should watch the video from yesterday um, day one so you can kind of get an idea of the difference between day one and day two distortions and that is like the like the silliest thing I've ever seen it's so awesome it's, it's really funny that little alien right there and then you can see a couple more monsters here and then over here he's got quite a few as well what do you think of that Riley Edgar Allan Poe London After Midnight Nosferatu werewolves and you got some pumpkins and you've got uh, all these lighting light equipment companies lots and lots and lots of costumes that was like a complaint that I had last year it wasn't really a complaint so much as it was like holy cow the whole place has been taken over by costumes and masks which is so funny because when the early days of the show there was none now it's overwhelming and then here is Ghost Ride's booth. 
And what you're going to notice about Ghost Rides booth here is that it is not done. So they have tomorrow to get it done, and I'm sure they will. Now we come up over here on Immortal. Do you like Immortal Mass, Riley? Yeah. And as you can see, once again, they've got more mass than anyone on planet Earth. And check this out, a full body suit right there. And you can see they have a lot of mass. Check out the Pennywise and the Terrifier mass. Very cool. But uh, lots of mass. And then these are half mass. You see anything cool here, Ronnie? Oh, you know what? This is the company. I take that back. This is the company, Original Sin. This is the company that works with Hell's Gate. So I made a mistake earlier. I'm correcting that. Uh, yeah, this is hands down the booth. Um, he's one of the artists at Hell's Gate. We bought some of their stuff last year and it was fantastic. Yeah, that's their booth. Looks like we got a little bit more. Hello. Hi. Vacuum form here. And then we've got, this is rib effects. What do you think of those, Riley? What? Those. What are they? The pulsating, you know, things that hang. They're pretty cool. And, uh, now, for those who don't know, rib effects used to be, oh, look at that, Riley. That's the elephant man. See that? Yeah, that looks cool. The elephant man. And then you have more masks over here. And it looks like you have a bunch of cool stuff for post-mortem. That is the post-mortem also is involved with Nethercraft. And they basically try to help people start retail stores. And here's Creative Visions. They don't look like they're ready to go yet. I have to come back tomorrow. So we will come back tomorrow and make another video. So you can get all three days of the setup. But what you need to do, this is Froggy Fog's booth, is get, and this is Nethercraft. Their stuff is always really cool. And we're about to use a bunch of it for, and look what they've done. They put it on, so you can see, that's really professional. So you can see, the different panels. That's really nice. Um, so that you can actually see what you want to order. And then here's our bunny's booth over here. This is uh, Midnight Mayhem Apparel. And let's just take a look at some of his costumes. And look at that, he's got a lot of silicone masks so that you get a better idea of what the costumes would look like with a cool mask. Now this is really cool. It's like a runway. My God, that guy looks real. Look at all these costumes. Lots and lots of costumes. Oh, there, that's our costume, Raleigh. We're supposed to take that, I think. That one right there. That one's going to the darkness. And... More costumes. I guess those are going to be UV costumes. And whatever's going here is planning on setting up tomorrow. I don't know what this is. Monsters Alive. What do you think, Riley? What? <laughs> so far. Metal detectors. And, yeah, you know, Riley's probably right. I don't know. I think it's maybe about 60% set up. And then you have weapons. And then uh, this is a booth from 13th floor. As I was saying yesterday, 
they do a really nice job with their booth for sure i don't know this is a mirror maze i don't know are you selling a mirror maze or are you just displaying it because you can um last year's booth was was incredible um they did a fantastic job on it and their booth last year i think they set it up in chicago their chicago haunted house and then you can see a crypt over here and there you have it and then i think this would be our buddy from shattered effects and there's all of his masks and then um, studio tech down here has all these glide wires and then here's froggy fog got a big video presentation with a bunch of scents and you can see studio tech effect is still working on their booth But the show, like I said, hello, is in St. Louis. Go to haashow.com. Now, real quick, I want to talk about the Darkness Haunted House Tour and give you an update on that. And look at Gore Glor's booth. That's really cool that they're making all those mushrooms. What do you think, Riley? Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, I don't know what this is exactly. And no one knows until the whole booth is set up. So this is just kind of sort of giving you an idea of a lot of the cool stuff that's here. And I will tell you that Scare Factory came with a lot of new animations. And then there's a brand new animation company here as well. Looks like more costumes. Hey, uh, Robert. More puppets from... Hey, uh, video for Haunt World here. Tell us what you're making. Yesterday we interviewed uh, David Falkman. Today yeah. we'll interview you. Oh. Tell us what you got here, because you were trying to explain it to us. So explain so, it to everybody. So we've got uh, so we several things here. So we've got uh, in our flying rigs, we've got our standard 30-foot uh, flying rig here at the Flywire. We've got a new Flywire called the Impact. That is a 15-foot rig, but what makes that special is the actors go in full force to a magnetic stop decelerator. and. The energy sends the actor into a swing six feet forward of the truss uh, in a very impact. So we call it the flywire impact. He'll fly out, and the energy coming back will send him right back home. So it's a high impact flying skill. And you got people flying right over the aisle. Oh yeah. We've got <laughs> how many actors are you going to have? Like, how many people are going to be like doing some kind of like stunt? We'll have seven. Seven. Seven in the show. Is that seven stunts going off at the same time? Yes. Holy cow. They'll rotate through um, everything from flying, bungees. We've got a new three-in-one bungee called the uh, Slingshot 3, which will give you a bounce, it'll give you a lean, it'll give you a swing. Um, so yeah, so there'll be several things. So we've got everything from our impact uh, uh, drops, spinning walls, uh, motion base, uh, glide wire that is and this, this is an example of, a, of where an actor holds on to this and then it it, it turns yeah right no it'll, it'll flip super fast and they'll spin it out in and out of a room now you're supposed to be somewhere else right now right <laughs> <You're probably, laughs> but we're installed we've installed you I've just got to go ahead and and add one more little mount and put Brody on it so you can see him so uh, I haven't this whole video we walked from all the way to the end to here just looking at stuff and only just one minute ago did I start finally mentioning the Darkness Haunt Tour. So like you're uh, installing a fl uh, custom fly rig in the darkness. Yours is cool. So um, that's on a rolling bridle. Uh, and we ended up from when I came out here, decided we were gonna put a 50 degree turn into it. So they're actually going down a hallway and turning into a room. And then they'll land up on that uh, really cool animation that, uh, um, uh, Pale Knight built and spin around and then fly back into the other side of the hallway so And is it gonna be up and running tonight? Oh, yeah, no, it's it's ready to go. So we're gonna make a video on that. Okay. Who's gonna fly? Okay. Right there. Are you up for it? Like because you're gonna be the test dummy So if it collapses, oh, okay. you're going down. 
a little bit collapses, your building's going down. So uh, that is, uh, it's it's up there. So. Riley, do you want to fly on it? Um, maybe. Okay. Riley says he wants to fly. Now, I don't know, what is the weight? What is the weight so, for it? So typically on all of our flying rigs, we rate them uh, for 240 pounds. I understand that's a factor of eight. So in this type of system, if I have a 240 pound actor, that's eight times. So we've literally got a rig that'll hold 2,000 pounds and we're rating it for a 240 pound person. Why? Because it'll last forever. So yeah, that means you can rig up there. And we want to get, we want to get Riley flying. You got it. Well, can, uh, we can't wait to see it. Will it all be up and running tomorrow? What? It has to be, right? What, this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. How long's, uh, how many hours do you spend like trying to set this up here? There's not enough hours in the But like r r roughly, what do you think you do? Oh, gosh. Like what time did you get here today? Pulling, uh, we got, I got here around 9, 9.30, and it's been nonstop. So we'll be here. We're going to come over to the darkness. We're still coming back here and uh, probably wrap around two in the morning so we can get up at eight in the morning and it'll be non-stop until we're finished. We have training at five, so all that's our biggest thing is, yesterday was load in um, and, and prep, carpets that. Today was rigs, we flew all the rigs today. Um, and tomorrow is, and got all the rest of the walls up, um, tomorrow is putting uh, product placement together and five o'clock all uh, the actors come in and we start training them. And those are darkness actors. Oh, well, hey, there you go, I'm there you go. Right now, now so hey, I, I have a question for you. Like all this stuff, is it for sale? Yeah. Like can people buy it oh, yeah. and leave with it? Oh yeah. No. Do you usually sell it? Um, our bungees are always gone. That's the first thing happens the first day. Um, all of our lean outs are commanders. Those are um, super popular. Uh, fly wires here or there, they'll come, you know. Uh, most people, uh, they turn into other custom things that they want, just like you. But, uh, yeah, we, we'll sell them out of the show. Hmm. Actually, I don't like selling them out of the show because I'll store these in a warehouse here just so I'm not scrambling next year to try to bring 30,000 pounds of gear into the show. I hear you. I wouldn't want to do that either. Well, thanks a lot, Robert. We're going to check out the last couple aisles. All right. And we'll see you over the darkness. You got it. You guys, and, and you are definitely getting in there. I am. It's not going to be him. That's, you know, I need him to work. So if somebody's neck gets broke, I'd rather beat yours, you know. No offense, no offense. No, I'm just kidding you. But we look forward to seeing you over there. I want to see you do, can you do a somersault? I can. There's a rig that we have there for it. So he's got the swivel bridle. So it's a bridle. So he can invert in it. He could do all of that. Um, you know, so it's just a matter of, We'll play with a bunch of different ways to use it. You dial it into what you want your actors trained in. And then Thursday, for the lights on tour. At the darkness. Cool. At the darkness. Um, you're going to bring your actors in. We can do training as well. Yep, and so, you guys are going to be there. Darkness, Thursday night. Thursday night. Yeah. Demoing. And I guess you'll be standing there. Um, yeah. I'll From be 8 to 9. Nine. From 8 to 9, yeah. All right, we'll see you guys there. See you later. See you later. All right. Now, I want to say the Darkness Haunted House Tour real fast as we look at Fright Props booth. And you can see their name up there. They got this like really wicked looking uh, robot. <laughs> Let's all show up. What is? We're in there. Yeah, we're going in there. So the last thing we're going to see is where all the animations are. The behind the scenes tour is on Thursday. I've already said this in every video. Uh, it's Thursday night. There is about 30 tickets left. So you can go to darkness.fearticket.com and get the tickets. Um, the Friday night tour for the, uh, the LEMP. We added on a, um, a 9.30 slot because it's sold out. And so we just added a, a 9.30 slot. We only added 50 tickets in it and it's already like at 20. But that's it, like we're not, all we did there was just add on the extra 30 minutes like it was at the darkness and we added 50 tickets. There's about 25 or 30 left. And this is my buddy, uh, Hallucination Creation. And check this out, he's got this, this uh, shovel 
I don't know what it does, but it looks like it's gonna bang. And it looks really cool, I'll tell you that. Um, Casket Creations. Looks like they've got some animatronics. Um, anyway, so the limp event is uh, got about 30 so tickets left. The darkness. Now, see that was uh, set at 80, 800 tickets. So of course it's going to be the last one to sell out. But it's right around. My guess is right around 70. Hello. 70 tickets left for the darkness. The darkness will sell out. It's gonna 100% sell out. They're all gonna sell out. So if you wanna get the tickets, go to darkness.fearticket.com. And if you need a ticketing system for your haunted attraction, take a demo and go see the Fear Ticket booth. Um, they're kinda in the middle of the show. And then we saw yesterday Frankenland, but let's walk in here. And this is the last section we're gonna walk through. And this would be Poison Props. This is Poison Props booth. And it looks like they have a lot of animations. Okay. Of course, none of them are going off at the moment. And we'll circle back around and see the rest. And look at this, dude. Dead Farm Productions, they built a they built a gas station. And this is Killer Props with none other than Greg Allen. And we have him in the flesh. So Greg, we have you here. Yes, We're going to corner you. Okay. So we've walked the whole show, Greg. Uh -huh. We interviewed Studio Tech. Yesterday we we interviewed uh Scare Factory. Yeah. So now we're here interviewing you. Okay. Tell us what, how this company got started. <laughs> okay. Where you're from, and what your uh, what kind of animations you got. Uh, I'm. My name's Greg Allen. I'm the owner of Killer Props. Killer Props. Um, it got started actually in January of this year. Uh, I was talking to Adam Johnston asking him a few things and asked him if I could come out and figure out some ways that he does animations and things like that and it kind of just merged together and so um, where are you going to manufacture them all? Missouri. In Missouri in Branson area? Uh, Lake of the Ozarks. Lake of the Ozarks okay. Yes. That'll be a first for the Lake of the Ozarks. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. hey Greg tell us about your animations. Does any of them work? Not right now. They don't have any air. We have a, a few of the um, hello, a few of the skelly crawlers and things like that. Those will work. Um, oh, so finally we're going to get to see something work here. And we've got like kind of like a Michael Myers jumping out of a. Looks like he's got a knife in his hand. Uh huh. Yep. He comes out. Oh, there's one working down right there. there. And so he basically just goes into the casket and he comes right. out and he tries to stab you. Yep. He'll be closed up in there. He'll come out, arm comes up, and he's stabbing at you. Oh, well, that's cool. There's no air out here right now. Got that one on. Um, got the Dementor down here I can start for you. Which one's a greeter that talks? That's this guy right here. Oh, okay. The art looks really good. Who did the art? Um, Adam did a lot of it on most of it. So, there's your Dementor up there. This is a rotating skelly. So some stuff is like motorized? Yes. So you okay. don't need Eric for it. If you want to do it for a home pond or something like that, you can do it. If you want to do it out in the yard, um, if you wanted something portable, Say you were going to do something out in a cornfield, hook it up to a car battery, and so how much go. would something like that cost? Uh, I believe this one is sixteen hundred. Okay. Something like that. So he's twelve hundred. Uh, the larger ones are right around thirty-one hundred for the, the big one there. So hardly anything. If the average one runs right around two thousand. Two thousand. So, yeah. I see that guy crawling over there. Yes. The crawling skelly, I think he's fifteen or sixteen hundred. I'd have to pull the list out real good. 
Yeah, he's creepy looking. <laughs> well, thanks, Greg. We're going to swing back around. I'll be right back. Sounds good. Before we leave, we'll come say hello. I mean, right. goodbye. Uh, so, we're working our way around, and I'm assuming... I don't know if this is still Poison Props booth. I don't know. Hey, is this Poison Props booth here? No, Dead Farm. Dead Farm, okay. That's a cool looking werewolf. And then we got a vampire. And then we pick back up with, with Poison Props booth. And as you can see, they've got a lot of animations, eh, Riley? Yep. I mean, there's a lot. Um, and then I don't know who, who what this company is, but this stuff looks cool. Like you got big mosquitoes, praying mantises, bees, and you can see that some of them are animated. Now this wasn't here yesterday. I didn't notice this. So some of these are animated, and it looks like they're focused strictly on bugs. And then here's more animations from Fry Props. Looks like that wheelchair is going to go in and out. That's really gory. And then now we have um, the Scare Factory booth with a lot of big animations. Oops, excuse me. That's really cool. None of these work, I guess, huh? We're uh, getting there. Yeah. Getting there. And you can see there's a lot of big stuff. And they've got lighting and everything else. Pumpkin witches. So. I mean, it's a lot of big monsters. I mean, look how tall the ceiling is on that section. And he's like over halfway up there. I don't know how tall that is, but my guess is like 18 feet maybe. The pumpkin witches are cool. Okay, Raleigh. Oh, and look what we have over here. The Terrifier. He's just hanging out. <laughs> and so there you have it for day two of Trans World. What did you like, Riley? What was your favorite thing that you saw? Um, and keep in mind, you're not even seeing but maybe 60%. And then what you are seeing is not even set up. So you already know it's super cool. And you need to get here like immediately. So go to the website, haashow.com and get your tickets. St. Louis is within driving distance of virtually anywhere in the United States. I mean, really. And the show doesn't start till Thursday. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you have plenty of time to get down here. But what was your favorite thing, really? Um, I like the church. The, the, which church? Oh, he likes the... The church from uh, 13th floor. And it does look cool. And we'll swing back around. And that TV is obviously going to display something. I'm sure that's going to be a TV as well. And then there's a TV right there in the center. There's a lot of TVs in here for sure. And I can tell you what it is. It's a mirror maze. So what I'm guessing that this is... This is gonna get set up in one of their haunts as an upcharged attraction. And potentially even make it a little bit bigger or that it's just so confusing you can't figure out how to get out of it. I don't know, but that's my guess. That's my guess, that it's getting set up as an upcharged attraction in one of their haunts where they have a lot of space. My guess, Chicago, that would be my guess. But, we'll, but we don't know that, but either way, um, thanks for watching the video. This is day two. There's one more day of setup here at, uh, at the Transworld Show. And that'll be tomorrow. 
typically people work till like you know some of them will work till five in the morning <laughs> you know to try to get it ready and up and going and so the only thing that I would ask you to do and where's that booth at Raleigh the the best most detailed booth at the entire show let's find it it's here somewhere I know it it's right here <laughs> the fear ticket booth um, and I do want to mention fear ticket is the absolute best ticketing system in the industry but you know what I did because we'll have some people over here and, and I, I just dropped some of my brochures off here we do build attractions fear ticket we made a video and we explained it all and we decided we would go on a walk and do it and I uploaded it without even watching it and I realized about 50% of it you can't hear because it was so windy so um, but I will only tell you that if you talk to people like Tony Wogamuth if you talk to Scott from uh, Seattle Georgetown Mort he will tell you that using fear ticket made them hundreds of thousands of dollars um, it'll save you money but it has the most features and one of the coolest features that it has is an upgrade so instead of sending people like hey I don't want to wait in line I want to go back to the box you have to send them to the box office to upgrade their ticket now with fear ticket you don't have to do that all you have to do is scan a barcode and um, Scott from Georgetown Morgue, he literally printed on a t-shirt and he had people roaming the queue lines asking, do you want to get out of line? Scan my shirt. It pulled up their fear ticket app, they pressed the button, and wham. Uh, on the video, talking about the fear ticket also, it talked about all the security that they have, where they have technology, you know, artificial intelligence type, type technology, where they can um, detect spam orders and they kick them out. They don't even get to place the order. Then the technology is so great in Fear Ticket, they literally recognize when some spam uh, ticket is trying to be purchased and it throws them right out. So, back here at the Distortions booth, and that is really cool, by the way. And Riley's over there playing with the Velociraptors. It's a very cool booth over here, for sure. And uh, so there you have it, day two. Make sure you get your tickets to the Darkness on Tour, darkness.fairticket.com. Leave a comment and tell us what you thought was the coolest prop you've seen so far. Because we want to know. Now that is a beautiful sculpt right there. You have that. Of Nosferatu. We have that? Where? In the pumpkin patch. Oh, we do? Okay. All right, Riley. Besides the mirror maze, what was your favorite prop? I don't know. I haven't seen them all. But you like them? Mm-hmm. And we'll be roaming the show, right? Yeah. So just come say hello. Until then, everybody, happy hauntings. And make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to make a lot of cool videos for you. Until then.